Hello everybody, I'm back with my one card in 10 minutes, so one in 10. Uh, this is a series and I'll post it once a week. This card is uh, very quick and easy. I'm using a new stamp from the Occasions catalog. It's Beautiful You. It's a two, um, a two package stamp. A stamp. It's a, it's a, there is a lot in there. I love all the uh, wordings, the lady. It's beautiful. There's so many things you can do with that. I decided um, to use uh, designer series paper from uh, Serene Scenery. It's a paper stack and it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm using this one, the ocean. Um, the base of the card is Bermuda Bay, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And these two are for the inside. And I have already cut um, the six by six down to uh, five and a quarter by four. So I'm going to start off uh, doing the inside. I'm just going to quickly do this. If I have some glue here, yeah. That'll be on the inside of the card. I like to finish all my cards on the inside. Yes. And that'll go right inside. You will see the, uh, this is with Trottleberry. And uh, it's not part of the designer series paper. However, it is part of the dress that I'm painting. And uh, I just like this here. You see, this is Rich Rattleberry. That's Mella Mambo. In this one, I used the Mella Mambo for the backing. Okay, so we got the inside done. Now we have to stamp on the outside. Let's uh, do that. We need. Um, for this, we need uh, basic black archival ink, ink that uh, does not smear, that does uh, that you can use um, for coloring. And I'm using uh, the Dancing Lady, and I I just love life. It may not be the party we had hoped for, but while we are here, we might as well dance. And this is what I'm going to stamp. I'm going to ink up my larger stamp so I'm gonna do that to make sure that she's nice and black there okay let's do this up so we're gonna let her dance here press down not too hard but just so that the ink will bond with the cardstock very nice and uh, now we need the words. The words are as well. We need to ink them up real nice and uh, fat, uh, good. So I like these words on the side here so it's easier to see. And here we go. Beautiful. Let's close this. And the next thing is I'm bringing in my watercolor pencils. The watercolor pencils are new, is a new product. They go really well on paper like this with the blender pen. There's 13, 14, 2, 4, 6, 10, 12, 13. Thirteen of them. I'm using uh, Rich Rasselberry and Mella Mambo and I'm giving her the uh, yellow hat and I use this uh, Calypso Coral for the uh, skin and the brown for the legs. So let's get the let's get this out. We'll start with the hat and what you do is you just color you just color in as if you were coloring in with pencil crayons, okay? And then uh, we'll do the we'll do the sand while she's dancing, okay? And we'll do a little bit of skin. Okay. 
She has a good tan. Okay, that's that. And then we'll give her the top I did in the darker, which is the rich raspberry. I give her sleeves in here as well. And I do that because the background is dark, so I'm opting for the darker color here. And I just color it all in. And then the, for the skirt, I'm using the Melon Mamba. Okay. And we are good. So now we are using, oh, this is not the one that's broken. I'm using the blender pens. The blender pens have uh, glycerin inside and you just make sure that they, there's nothing in there. So I'm just blending the yellow from this hat. See, I'm removing the yellow. And then I'm gonna do the skin tone. And here a little bit. And also here, while we're here, we might as well do the sand. Okay. And I'm using blender pens on here as opposed to water uh, aqua painter because uh, this paper is too thin uh, to use with aqua painter. It would, uh, it would warp, it would, uh, yeah, it would not be good. So I'm just, uh, you see, I'm blending all these strokes that I did with the um, pencils, with the crayons. I'm just going over it and giving it a giving it a brush over the whole image and then here I want this a little lighter okay voila and then you want to clean your blender pens after clean them close them and put them away along with my And guess what? We're almost done. Okay, we need ink, uh, <laughs> glue, and we are a dunner. Look at that. Nice lady, nice dancer. I'd like to meet her sometime. There's a little bit of a edge. Okay. Perfect. The final uh, touch here will be a little bit of, uh, I don't know if you can see it here. It's the Winkostella. And I'm just going over her skirt here. I don't know, can you see? It's sparkling. Okay, we sparkle her skirt and clean that off. And card number two is done. Look at that. You see the difference? A little darker, a little lighter, and inside just the mat is different. Well, there is my 1 in 10 card for the week. Thank you. I hope you will tune in next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.